Hey guys, and welcome to AJ Creative. Today I'm gonna show you some cool fish, and I'm gonna narrate it, and we're gonna have a wonderful time. I'm gonna relax, focus on nature, and make sure you like and subscribe and leave a comment with your favorite part of the video. The green sea turtle is the largest hard shelled sea turtle. They eat seagrass and algae, which is why they have that greenish, beautiful color. They migrate long distances between feeding grounds and beaches from their hatched, which is why they're endurgent, because green turtles are threatened by over harvesting of their eggs, hunting of adults, and um, a lot of times their, their beach sides when their nests are hurt too. Then we can see a beautiful nurse sharks, which are slow moving bottom dwellers, and they're, they're harmless to humans. They can be huge though, up to 14 feet, and they have very strong jaws filled with thousands of tiny serrated teeth that do grow back. The sea turtle over here, again, super cute. I love their little fins, the way they swim. And regarding the sharks, um, this particular species breathe using buckle pumping method, which means that they use oral muscles to pull water into their mouths um, to, to ox oxygenate their gills, allowing them to stay still and even sleep. A lot of animals cannot sleep. They don't sleep um, because you need the brain to be of a bigger size in order to be able to sleep. I love this shark, um, the way they look. They're so graceful. There's some Corvell Jacks swimming around. And Corvell Jacks are prey item for various surface feeding carnivores such as sinfish like stripped marlin, audux, and seabirds. They're capable of producing croaking sounds by grinding its teeth together while releasing gas from air bladder. The shark again, I love the little speckles they have. The gills are just gorgeous. There's seven of them. They're so graceful, the way they move and the fact that they're away from me separated by glass, makes me feel very, very comfortable. The Cravel Jacks are also really cool because they all swim together. So they kind of follow the same swimming patterns you can see. They'll like turn at the same time. They're super social. And I love that they have their own little gang that they follow. They must be it must be just fun to not be alone in such a big sea with a lot of other animals out there and I love their beautiful stripe that goes through it's also really cool how like the animals don't eat each other in the aquarium oh and look at the belly of the sea turtle truly beautiful next we have blue fish which live up to 12 years they grow up really fast up to 31 pounds and 39 in inches they reproduce at age two when they're about 15 to 20 inches in length and depending on size, females can hatch between half a million to two million eggs and they spawn multiple times during spring and summer. Next, we have the cow rose stingray and they're named after the nose of a cow. They're very big. The biggest one was seven feet um, and they swim near the surface but have been seen at the depths of up to 72 feet. It was super cool to pet them because they're super sweet. And as you, can, you can see that barb at the end. That's what they sting with. Um, I love how they also have different colors. They range from light gray to dark gray, almost like black. They look like the kites of the water, truly. Um, they're super adorable. I mean, look at them. Next, we have pink sea star. And they're really cool because they have no brain or blood. They're one of the largest and heaviest sea stars in the world. They're definitely the prettiest. And the pink sea star cannot survive in fresh water but they can regenerate. And I don't know if you guys can see, but they're like very hard, but at the same time they can move. So it's kind of cool how every cell is super hard, but at the same time they have mobility and they have that little mush. When you touch them, it's kind of mushy. And then those little like things you can see here, that's how they move from place to place. Giant green anemone can also be found in the reef um, and they feed on crabs, mussels, small fish and sea urchins. They've been known to settle into muscle beds for easy access to sustainable food sources. They use their stinging cells called nematosis uh, found in the tentacles to paralyze its prey. They kind of look like they're out of this world. I mean, look at how purple and green they are. The colors are just gorgeous. The red anemone are really cool because they have distinctly male and female individuals. 
And they're semi, semi-aggressive because they are mobile. I think they kind of look like a mushroom, like with the red with the white dots. There's this poisonous mushroom that they look like. And when I touched them, it was really cute because they got like sucked into my toes and kind of pet me, which was kind of nice to be pet. These I would call the worms of the sea. They inhabit holes burrowed into the sand. They're called garden eels. And garden eels use their tails to dig holes that they live in, and they have excellent vision to spot their food. The females can change their sex if there are few or no males in the colony, so that way they can reproduce. The garden eels are super cute because they have like different looking kind of patterns on them. Some of them are like more Nemo, some of them are like Dalmatians. And I love the way they move. You can see their cute little eyes and the shapes they make. Super adorable. Next, we have pajama cardinal fish. If I was a fish, I'd be pajama cardinal fish. I love wearing pajamas. And the cool thing about them is that they're mouth brooders. So after the eggs are fertilized, the male picks them up and guards the eggs in his mouth until they hatch. And after the eggs hatch, the male spits out the fish and they're all on their own. The, yep. We're finishing off with some garden eels. Look how cute their patterns are. Like truly a masterpiece. Spiny lobsters. Spiny lobsters existed for 100 million years. To hide from the predators, they go into crevices and make loud scraping sounds with their antennas to scare people away. They travel with 50 friends um, and they use earth magnetic field to travel. I love the different colors they have. The orange they're super interesting and now i'll never eat a lobster for dinner ever again okay these are super popular um everybody's seen a lemur at least on tv the, these are lemurs in real life madagascar is actually the only place lemurs naturally come home call home there are over 100 species of lemurs that exist all different shapes and sizes so really cool about lemurs is that they are a female dominant society See, it's possible to have a female dominant society. I know one day the Republicans will also believe it, but for now, we're just gonna we're gonna bring a little lemur, lemur female power <laughs> into humans. Um, as crucial seeds dispersers, lemurs are the creators of the forest by basically by eating nuts or parts of the tree and then traveling and pooping them somewhere else. They help the trees reproduce, which is super cool. They're actually very helpful animals in nature. Besides humans, lemurs are the only primates that have blue eyes. This one has like orange eyes, but they do have blue eyes. I just love how he's sharing food, shows a good quality, and their tails are super fascinating. Look how much longer they are than they are. Another cool thing about lemurs is that, that they are very smart. They're kind of like the cats of Madagascar that live in the trees and they can climb the trees very well. They sleep super cutely. And this lemur, I love the way he eats. Um, num, num, num. He's probably not that hungry. I mean, if you look at him, he's kind of chubsy, but um, that's because the food is so accessible to him. He can even like pick through food, as you can see here. He's like picking the parts he likes and he doesn't like because he does have a choice. In nature, most likely he will just eat whatever he can get. But here at the zoo, he is spoiled. And I just love how they can use opposable thumbs. They kind of remind me of humans with like their hands. And look at their belly and the white belly. Their ears are super cute. They always look like they're like, they just woke up. <laughs> look at their tails. They're walking like, oh, definitely the cutest animals. They love to clean themselves too. And they even help each other clean their backs are just adorable the the way they're colored they're super cute lemurs are actually very clean animals as you can see here they help each other clean the parts that aren't as easily accessible so i love how they work together that's adorable tomato frogs are native to madagascar and they inhibit forests marshes and areas near, near rivers male tomato frogs can be like orange and brown and females have this vibrant red color to tell you that they have toxins so you should stay away those are roseate spoonbills which are super special because they're one of six species of spoonbills in the world and the only one found in americas they get their pink coloration from the foods that they eat 
crustal oceans and other aquatic invertebrates contain pigments called carotenoids that help turn their feathers pink. Their feet are also pink too, which are super cute. This spoonbill is like <laughs> break free. He is attacking um the fence, which I thought was super cool. And spoon spoonbills fly in long diagonal lines with their necks and legs completely stre stretched out, and they live in like swampy marshy areas like mangroves seagrass flats and tidal pools isn't that adorable how cute this spoonbill is i love how like he has a darker um pink mark on his wings super cute i loved watching the spoonbill eat the fish as you can see they use their big nose to like kind of chew it up super cute and they're all pink oh how adorable Florida pompanos, those are prized as one of the great food fishes in U.S. waters. The price for Florida pompano is typically among the highest per pound for any fish. I just love how he's looking at me. Um, they're found inshore and nearshore waters, especially along sandy beaches, and they feed on squids, shrimps, and sand fleas. Love their yellow fins. Um, and this... Florida pompano is alone and he's an adult. That's why he's chilling here. These Florida pompanos have most likely have babies and there's a little catfish behind them and which is why they live in mangroves because that's where they reproduce. That's where their eggs hatch. So these ones are protecting um, their babies. So yeah, that's why they live together and the catfish are super cute too. You can see their whiskers, which is why they're called catfish. You probably haven't seen a duck like this before. It's a ruddy duck, which lay the largest eggs of any duck in the world. They're characterized by their blue nose and they're excellent swimmers, but they are clumsy on land. Ruddy ducks become especially aggressive during the breeding seasons and they can even chase rabbits. Then you also see the diamondback terrapin, which has the blue belly. I think they're super cute. And these two turtles are playing, chasing each other, having so much fun. Otters are definitely my favorites. Otter um, fur is the densest of any mammal at about 1 million hairs per square inch. Otters typically have a lifespan between 15 and 20 years. And average weight of an otter um, is about 50 pounds. Males can weigh up to 70 pounds. This otter is definitely showing off. And I'm here for it. Super cute. Now look at that jump. Oh, yeah. He got him. Moon jelly. While these jellies have stinging cells in their tentacles, their sting is mostly undetectable by humans. I just love how smart they are, how slowly they move. They have like those umbrellas, and as you can see, the little hairs are adorable. It says if they had like eyelashes all over them. I also got to pet them, which was adorable. Kind of feels like touching aloe vera gel, but it was super fun to connect with these animals. You're supposed to use two fingers and gently pet them on their backs. Luckily, they didn't sting me, but even if they did, um, I wouldn't feel anything. It was just so cool to experience them in real life. My favorites, of course, were the sharks because sharks were just really cool. And I've realized that the sharks are actually pre predators, but predators actually want to conserve their energy. Like predators don't want to attack you. So apparently we fish out so many fish out of the sea every year that they don't have enough food, which is why they literally bite us. But sharks don't bite you because they want to eat you. Most of the time, they just don't have like the any other sensory forms except like on the side of them they have those sensors that'll smell blood which is why you shouldn't go into water if you have active bleeding you shouldn't swim at the dusk or dawn because that's when they're most active and then the last thing is don't wear jewelry because jewelry attracts sharks so those are three rules if you follow those sharks are totally safe to you and don't ever be afraid to go into beautiful water because of sharks because they're only like 10 people and every year I get killed by sharks, so nothing will happen to you. Enjoy!
the same time, I'm ready to dip. I hope you guys loved the video. Thank you so much for watching. I love you. Bye.